The main adverse impact of climate change in Nepal right now is the melting of glaciers and, and the increasing size of the uh, glacier lakes in Nepal. So this will have very you know, uh, negative impacts on our water resources of Nepal and also these are very uh, uh, negative uh, linkages to the impending disasters related to glacial lake outburst floods. So this will uh, reduce the life of the water resource projects and also has the capacity uh, of, uh, of damaging the projects. These projects are very expensive to make in the first place and we cannot afford to lose them or, or cause any damage to this. So this is, I think, the most important uh, aspect of climate change impact in Nepal. Another one is Nepal, as you know, is a mountainous country and people living in the mountains are already facing hardships. They depend on natural resources, land and forests and water for their livelihoods and climate change is having negative impact on the livelihoods. The main difficulty they are facing is the, the lack of water. water. The water source is shrinking. Uh, they have to depend a lot on forests and land, so these uh, forests are, are in facing increasing pressure. And people have to use, uh, take out more crops from the land, so the land, the soil, farmland is, is being cleared. So this uh, local adaptation plants uh, are focusing on, on water, forests, and, and agriculture uh, land. GCCJ can help Nepal in, in funding adaptation projects because adaptation is the key to climate change, fighting climate change in Nepal. GCCJ has already funded a project called Nepal Climate Change Support Program, NCCSP, along with the funding from, from DFID. And this project will implement the local adaptation plan of action. Under the, under the G, uh, NCCSP project, we are implementing the local adaptation plan of action, uh, which are being implemented, which will be implemented in 14 uh, districts, most vulnerable districts in, in Nepal. We have uh, categorized Nepal, Nepali districts into different categories of vulnerability. So these 14 districts are the most vulnerable districts in Nepal. And within each district, we, we have selected the most vulnerable uh, villages. And these plans, local adaptation plans, are being prepared by the people themselves. So the GCCA funding will be key to implement these uh, local adaptation plans.